Welcome everybody to this video cheat sheet where we're going to be enabling IP multicast forwarding on one of the routers in our network. We're going to start off with the baseline show command of show IP multicast global to see if multicast is enabled on the on the router. Then we're going to implement three debug commands to uh, basically show that there's not a whole lot going on with the router as we're enabling IP multicast forwarding. And then we're going to finish up with a verification show command of show IP multicast global to see how things have changed uh, from the baseline show command. And hopefully we'll see that when we're done that multicast will then be enabled on our router. So let's look at the network topology. We're going to be enabling multicast here on router 2. Multicast is already enabled throughout our network, so we're only going to enable it on router 2. So let's get started. Let's start off with my show IP multicast global command. And we see right here that multicast routing is disabled. So let's turn our debug commands on. And I picked these three um, because they have to do with uh, the multicast routing, but yet once again I'm going to basically prove uh, that even though I've got these three different debug commands turned on, uh, including the detail there on mPacket, that there's still not a whole lot going on with this router as we enable multicast routing. Now, multicast routing is not enabled by default. This is something that you have to turn on. And you do that in configuration mode with the command IP multicast routing. That's all there is to it. If you try to configure any other multicast parameters before you enable multicast, like let's say you go under an interface and you try to configure it in dense mode, it will give you an error message and say multicast hasn't been enabled yet. So the Cisco routers are kind of user friendly that way. But once again, this is how you enable multicast routing with the IP multicast dash routing command. So let's go ahead and enable it. So now let's do our verification show command of show IP multiclass global and see if multicast routing is now enabled. Because if you remember up here, it was disabled. And as you can see, even though I enabled these three debug commands that have to do with, with routing and multicast routing specifically, I have not received any uh, output from enabling multicast. So even though I've enabled multicast, and let's verify that that's happened, yet before, right here, multicast routing disabled, now the verification command multicast routing enabled. So even though I've enabled multicast routing, my debug commands did not produce anything. So there's still not really a whole lot going on uh, with this router and the rest of the network. So that is how you uh, implement or um, deploy IP multicast routing on on a router. Once again, it's not done by default. You have to go in and you have to configure it and you do that with this command right here, IP multicast dash routing. We started off with a baseline show command of show IP multicast global where we saw that uh, multicast was disabled. I put in these three debug commands to show that there's still not a whole lot going on with the router as I enabled multicast forwarding on the router. And then I, f I finished up with the show IP multicast global command to show that now multicast has been enabled on the router. So now we're ready to move on and actually uh, configure which type of multicast we want to do from dense mode to sparse dense to sparse. But this is the first step in deploying multicast on your network.